So six days ago now, as we predicted here on the channel, we actually got a look at the brand new Caves and Cliffs Lush Caves, which brought about all new blocks and items. So in this video, we are going to be talking about yet again what will be in tomorrow's 1.17 snapshot. So if you're going to enjoy the video, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe down below if you've not already. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, everyone. Thank you all so, so much for the support and let's get right into the video. So everyone, as I said, tomorrow's 1.17 snapshot features have been revealed by Mojang. Whether they meant to or not, we can now narrow it down very accurately to figure out what will be in tomorrow's snapshot and that is exactly what we're going to do right now. So I actually have a list here of every single official item that was revealed to us at Minecraft Live, which obviously lists every single item item coming in the 1.17 Caves and Cliffs update for Minecraft and most of it right now has been crossed off. We've got mostly everything we have been expecting whether that be the Lush Caves, the Dripstone Caves or even the Axolotl. We've got pretty much 80% of what we expected but there is now a few things left that we're actually waiting to receive for Java Edition and the first one of these is the new archaeology system. Now I'll get back onto this a bit later on and I, this is obviously a thing we're still waiting for and could be in the next snapshot, never cross out the possibility, but I do not think this will be in the next snapshot but that is still a thing that is on the horizon. Obviously we have the updated cave generation and stuff but trust me that will not be coming anytime soon. It is far too complicated for Maljang to implement right now they still need to experiment with it and make sure it works absolutely perfectly or you know they could literally break the entire game and then we have like the warden and some deep dark stuff like the you know the skulk spread and the skulk block and the mysterious new stone that was actually revealed to us along with the deep dark which could be coming as a preset rather than being implemented fully into the game and I believe believe everyone this is by a million miles the most likely and I've talked about this for a few weeks in a row now everyone and you know unfortunately we have actually missed out on quite a few snapshots to begin this year but not to worry we are getting one tomorrow but I think that the most likely is the warden because we actually got a tease from King B Dogs not too long ago saying what do you think this is this is a little hint and basically on the video sound it sounded like some kind of deep dark ambient sound effects and then he actually says you know it's not the warden it's the deep dark hint hint nudge nudge so yeah basically I think that's something to do with the deep dark whether that just simply be skulk and skulk spread and the mysterious stone that was shown to us at minecraft live i think that is all very likely to make its way into the game as a part of one snapshot and it would be very easy for maljang to implement as well because we've saw in the past they do not go full out and implement the entire new cave along with its blocks and mobs in one snapshot they like to break it up and first off give us the blocks and then maybe a mob next week and then maybe a few months down the line it will be fully implemented into the world so i do strongly believe that tomorrow we could be seeing something to do with the deep dark you know whether it be the warden or just the, the skulk block or the skulk growth i think it is so so likely now let's go back to archaeology for a second this is something we've heard absolutely nothing about and by nothing i mean absolutely zero ever since we saw this at minecraft live we've saw nothing we've heard nothing and it's basically gone back into the shadows has been a very mysterious thing so obviously right now i think this is off the table i do not think we'll be seeing anything about this or hearing anything about this for a while because if we was going to get something about it tomorrow we would have heard by now so yeah let's cross that one out and let's finish up with 
the goat now we actually got this in a beta quite a while back for bedrock edition but we have not got it for java as a snapshot yet so the goat is a very likely candidate to come into the game and you know obviously it would come with the goat horn item which is still very mysterious so just like they did with the glow squid and the glow ink sack maybe when they implement it to java edition they could flesh it out a little bit and actually give us an idea as what this will be used for but yeah i think that would be very exciting so to finish up everyone i think tomorrow we will either be getting the goat along with the goat horn and maybe some mountain related items or we will be getting the warden which i do not think we will until later on but the most likely thing i think we'll be seeing is something to do with the deep dark whether that be skulk the skulk growth or the mysterious stone block but yeah i just want to finish up by saying like we might not get any of these let's not forget they could do a full-on nether update with us all over again where they start implementing these crazy features and never even shown to us at minecraft live so i think that is still very likely they like to throw in a bunch of features and ideas from the community so you know let's just remember everyone mojang have some tricks up the sleeve and i'm sure that soon we will start seeing them but yeah i've been thinking about doing a video for a while now about you know bedrock base and what we could be seeing in the next one so if you like the sound of that and you would watch that video be sure to drop it a like and subscribe down below so that you do not miss it only about under 10 percent of you that actually watch these videos are subscribed so come on be sure you change that it's very easy just go down below one click and you are subscribed you will not regret it but yeah thanks all so much for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed the video i have a bunch of exciting content coming up for you all so you know as i said click that subscribe button and you will not miss it you can also check us out over on twitter and discord there'll be links for both in the description everyone but yeah i just want to finish up by saying thank you all so so much for the support i never ever thought i would reach 8,000 subscribers but you know we made it everyone let's get to 10 thousand that would be absolutely insane but yeah if you made it this far into the video thank you so so much everyone i really appreciate it and i'll see you all tomorrow with another video goodbye